Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about practical geometry for class 8 standard. It is exercise 7.1 for state syllabus students and exercise 4.1 for NCERT textbook students. Exercise first question says construct the following quadrilaterals. Quadrilateral A, B, C, D. They have given measurements of A, B, B, C, C, D, A, D and A, C. Before we could start, draw a rough diagram of a quadrilateral. Name it as A, B, C and D. A, B it is given 4.5. B, C 5.5. C, D is 4 cm. A, D is 6 cm. And A, C is 7 cm. So with this measurement, looking at this, we will start drawing. For this, you need... A compass, a scale and a pencil. Let us start the constructions. Bottom line base AB is 4.5 cm. So let us draw a base which is 4.5 cm. So when you draw, start the reading from here 0 and draw till 4.5 cm. Sharpen your pencil so that what you are drawing is visible and neat and clear. Right here as 4.5 cm. See this diagram. It says BC is 5.5. So let us draw BC. Let us take BC as 5.5. From 0. From 0. To 5.5. From B you should draw. An arc, hold the end of the compass and draw an arc of 5.5 cm. Now AC here, the diagonal is 7 cm. Draw the diagonal first. So that first you draw a triangle. So I have measured 7 cm. You also measure with your scale and compass 7 cm. And draw from A and cut on this as 7 cm. Now this point is our point C. Join BC and AC and write the measurements there as 5.5 cm and 7 cm. The last measurement which is left AD. AD is 6 cm. One more end is left, 6 cm. So from 0, take the measurement of the compass as 6 cm. Draw 6 cm from here. Keeping at A, draw 6 cm. See to it, you mark one single arc. Double mark makes a bad impression. Neatness represents with only single arc. From C, you should take... 4 cm. So measure 4 cm. Open your compass. So from C, mark 4 cm arc and then join this point which is known as D and join AD, join DC. Write the measurements there 4 cm, 6 cm. This is the quadrilateral you should construct. A, B, C, D. Understood children? Let's move. We are going to do the second problem. Quadrilateral J, U, M, P with the given measurements from the textbook exercise 7.1. So here are the questions which are given. J, U. The measurement of J, U is 3.5. U, M is 4. M, P is 5. P, J is 4.5. P, U is 6.5. So we will draw quadrilateral and name it as J, U, M, P. J, U is 3.5. U, M is 4. MP is 5, J, PJ is 4.5 and PU is 6.5. So I am going to first draw this part. So let us start. I have drawn JU as 3.5 cm. As you see here it is 3.5 cm. Next I am going to draw PU. PU is how much? 6.5. So let me take 6.5. Measurement from 0. 6.5. Yes, so from U, 6.5. Then PJ is 4.5. So let me 
take 4.5 measurement so 4.5 now this point which meets is my p i am going to join p j and p u right there as 4.5 cm and this as 6.5 cm now what is left um which is 4 cm so 4 cm i need um um is 4 cm so here i go here i have 4 cm now i have pm as 5 cm with this point i am going to take 5 cm and keep here at the point p and cut here so from p i have cut here which is 5 cm so this is the point join the points here this is 5 cm here it goes pm and this um which i have done 4 cm so this is the quadrilateral jump with the given measurements i hope you have understood let's move on third problem parallelogram more where or is 6 cm re is 4.5 eo is 7.5 so let us start with what is given or is 6 cm so more i am going to do it like this re is 4.5 OE is 7.5. So with this information, will I be able to draw a parallelogram? No. What we know about parallelogram? See here, you have already learnt about a parallelogram. Opposite sides are equal. So if opposite sides are equal, if this is six, what will this be? This will also be six. If this is 4.5, what will this be? This will also be 4.5. So with that information, if this is six, this is also going to be six centimeter. this is going to be 4.5 now let us draw so draw a line of or of 6 cm so let us draw or of 6 cm line name it as or 6 cm then let me first draw this part this shaded part let me draw first so re is 4.5 and oe is 7.5 so let us draw re as 4.5 compass and pencil and from 0 till 4.5 it is perfect 4.5 so from r i draw 4.5 here now oe is 7.5 so from 0 to 7.5 here i go so from o 7.5 ah yes this is the point which is e so let us first join the part which we have drawn the shaded part is this triangle oer where this part is 7.5 cm and this part is 4.5 cm now as i said you opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal so if this is 6 i'll get another side as 6 cm so let me draw 6 cm here yes 6 cm oh it's crossing our reading it's okay so here re is 4.5 so even this part will be 4.5 so 4.5 here never draw two arcs so it touches here so we have this part like this so this is m This is six centimeter. This is four point five centimeter. I hope you have understood. I hope this is pretty clear to you. Let's move on. Now we are going to do fourth one where we have to construct a rhombus B E S T best with the measurements. Now, rhombus is basically a shape. It is a quadrilateral or a parallelogram, which we say. If this is a diagonal, I take E T as six centimeter. i have b e s t b e is 4.5 now one of the property of rhombus says the popular property a parallelogram with sides of equal length it is a parallelogram with sides of equal length that is all the sides will be of equal length so everywhere it is going to be 4.5 4.5 4.5 how do we construct this look here what do we do we will start with the diagonal e t which is 6 cm So let us take diagonal ET, which is six centimeters. 
6 cm, mark this as 6 cm ET and then we have 4.5, so 4.5, take in the compass 4.5, should be exact. Here you go, 4.5, exact 4.5. So all the sides are 4.5, so mark from here 4.5 and this side 4.5. Same thing on the other side also, 4.5. And from this side also you have 4.5. Join all the points. This is my B and this is my S. Join all the points. All the points. This is the rhombus we get. You can write the measurements. 4.5 centimeter. 4.5 centimeter. 4.5 centimeter and 4.5 centimeter. I hope you have understood children. We have completed the exercise. I hope this everything is clear to me. If you want to view the exercise, see what we have done. First problem, we constructed quadrilateral ABCD. This is the construction we did. Second problem, we constructed quadrilateral jump. This is the construction we did. Third construction, we constructed parallelogram more. And fourth construction, we constructed rhombus best. I hope this is clear to you. Hope you have learnt how to construct from this video, children. Thank you. Have a nice day.